Welcome to Vention Tips. Today, we'll cover how to use the Configuration Assistant in Vention's Machine Builder. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to easily integrate complex motion components into your automation designs by choosing from three different methods. The Navigation Compass, Custom Part Selection, and the Autocomplete feature. Prior to getting started, make sure that the Configuration Assistant is turned on. You can do this by navigating to the settings from the drop-down menu in the top left corner of your screen. From there, select Smart Design and toggle Configuration Assistant. Once this is done, we're good to go. Begin by navigating to the Linear Motion category in the Parts Library. From here, select the Enclosed Ball Screw Actuator and drop it into your design by clicking anywhere on the work surface. The Configuration Assistant will appear next to the Parts Library whenever you drop a standard linear actuator or belt conveyor into the design space. It works by proposing the peripherals required to create a functional assembly, such as sensors, motors, and guidance systems. There are three ways to go about adding these parts to the design. In this tutorial, each method will be shown with a different actuator, though they can be used interchangeably. First, Navigation Compass. With the actuator already in the design, you can click the green check mark in the Navigation Compass as it appears around your actuator to add the suggested parts. Once all parts have been added, all that's left is to add the machine motion controller and an e-stop. Second, custom part selection. For some actuators, there will be more than one option to select from per component type. In this case, you can choose the desired part directly from the configuration assistant window and confirm the selection by clicking on the green check mark in the corner of the part thumbnail. Again, you can complete the configuration by adding the controller and e-stop. Third, autocomplete. Once you've added the actuator to your design, the final way you can use the configuration assistant is by pressing the autocomplete button at the bottom of the window. This will automatically add the required components to the actuator. Now all that's left is the machine motion controller and an e-stop. If you would like to reopen the configuration assistant at any time, simply right click on the actuator and select configure. That wraps up the session on designing using the Configuration Assistant. Thank you for watching, and happy designing!